no reservations. Gotta leave soon. Still not a Roman. Curtains closing in my cinematic Roman fantasy. But there's still a beach party. That's right, they have beaches here, about an hour from town. And what does every beach party need? I don't care if you're talking Rome or the Jersey Shore. Barbecue, Stunats, stuff cooked on a grill, food and liquor. Fortunately, my Tuscan associate is hard on the case. Buongiorno. Ciao, Marco. Rising early in the morning and hitting Campo de Fiore Market to consult with Marco about seafood options and pick up some other necessities as well. That's some belly. Fit, more pop. In the meantime, I'll contemplate why I'm not writing as I wander the beach, figuring out how we're going to end this masterpiece. The last shot of the show. How about that? The heartwarming final meal, eh, we got that covered. Cesare and Marco, yeah, they're all over that. They'll bring us all the way home. Oh, my God, it's like day palm. Oh, the, oh, yeah. The fresh taste of accelerant. No Boy Scouts here. Well, bring on the victim. Holy look at him. He's still stiff with rigor mortis. That yes. fish is fresh. It's Italian fish, you see? Still hard. So I mettiamo un po' di, di patate. Oh, right in there. A little olive oil. I'm looking at the expression on the fish's face. He looks so happy. No, no, no. He, he has the same expression on his face as me. Happy, but, but in an existential sort of a way. So what do we do when we're doing risotto? Risotto we, plain or risotto with? We put inside uh, stuff. I show how the Italian do it. Wow, you're like a human Cuisinart. Yes. See, I could have done that. I'm not doing it, but I could have. Good. I could have sliced that onion, but really, what does it matter in the long run? We're all going to die anyway. Cesare says we chop the onion to live. I don't really know what that means, but it sounds good. This is chopped fine for to put in the risotto. OK. I'm going to make this very nice for you. I'm so privileged to see you walk. Let me drink. It's a lot. And the, the hard work. So never I cook a soft in the grill. Never. Never. No, you can't control the flame. But because we're professionals, we can do this. Because you prefer to be inside the kitchen or to be here? So maybe the risotto will be a little less good, but we'll be a lot, yes. a lot happier. And you know what? Some on the internet is going to say they couldn't control the heat. This risotto is not, you know, ah, you. That's what I say. Calamar or uh, sepia? Sepia, sepia. Per il risotto. Ooh, nice a risotto or sepia. This is going to be so awesome. Look. Take a the zucchini here. Oh, that's so beautiful. I just want to put on my swim trunks and dive right in there. Yeah. And hey, what do you think? It's done. Now the fish is in the oven? Yes. Uh, a bit of broth. Va bene. But when do you eat? I'm hungry for a little bit. Let's put a little bit of color. The color of the fish. They're hungry. They've had a lot of wine. I'm going to show you. Right? And you think it's a good idea? Yes. You know what I think is a good idea? You throw a little olive oil on this so you get a little flame for a second. OK. OK, now we take off. Wait. Maybe they think they are, they did this uh, because we don't know what we're doing. But we know what we're doing. Oh, yeah, we're, we're professionals. Anthony, if you're going to spend the most time with me, you're going to be great star. Where else is there to go? There's nowhere but that. Look at that, yeah. 
Valeria! Il vino! <laughs> This is a good. Look, look at the food. Our work is done here. Yes. Cheers. We did good. Come to, come to me, my love. Come. Let me strip you of your, your tail meat and then suck out your brain. Easy so. Yeah, I know. That's just unbelievable. Ah, che meraviglia! Persino lo springuro americano mm. è stato bravo. Yeah. Mm. Risotto? It's good. It too. is good, right? It's not fair. Everything is good. We did nothing. We threw a bunch of on the grill and it's, it's fantastic, right? We had respect for the ingredients. It's not what we did, it's what we didn't do. Right? These are the smart things. We still don't know how to cook, huh? <laughs> you never forget. It's like riding a bicycle. Into each life, a little bitterness. For me, this is one of the great discoveries of my life, my new indoctrination into Italy, right? It's that after La Dolce Vita, the sweet life, after all of the beautiful food, you need a little bitterness. And that, that's amaro, right? The amaro is something bitter in the life making you recognize the pleasure of the life. Right. And It also makes you ready for the next thing, which is, of course, involving food, <laughs> right? I mean, let, let's face it. I'm in a lot of places. Who lives better than the Italian? I'm so angry I'm not Italian. But now, a little bitterness it's a to end this want. perfect day. <laughs>